Hi guys, Al here from Al Outdoors and thanks for stopping by. I picked up this Pattern Canadian Forces Pattern 82 rucksack on one of the trade groups on Facebook. And with a little bit of research I found the tell over at Oshawa Bushcraft and I'll have his info down below did a bunch of mods. He did four videos on this and I'm gonna do some of the mods that he did on his. The first one is these are ladder buckles and they can be a pain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap them out for plastic. The second thing I'm going to do is put a grab handle up here on the top so that I can hang it off a tree or whatever. And the third is I'm going to get some better and stronger bag straps for the bottom. This, I was lucky enough that the guy had this. Its proper name is called a valise. And basically what it is, is it is a sleep system bag. It's got all different kinds of D-rings down the side so it's easy to strap onto the pack and it won't move either way and you can fit a ton of gear in this bag and compress it down. It's got the, the push button and it's got a flap inside so once you get all your stuff in there you put that over the top and then cinch it and it's basically waterproof or water resistant. As I do this, I'm going to video it all so that all you guys can see how I change the buckle and what straps I use for the bottom, how I weave the... I'm going to be using uh, 550 paracord for the grab handle. And then I'll probably put some patches on the lid. and we'll go from there. I also have a large Alex pack. What I plan on doing with the Alice pack is I want to make it a, more, a little bit more versatile. The Alice pack frame is basically this. And the frame that I want to use is this. So it's going to give me a lot more versatility. What I'm going to have to do to this is make sure you can see here the Alice Pack frame is a lot narrower than the frame I want to use. So I'm going to be modifying the top of this frame to come down to this size. And that will allow me to put the large Alice pack bag onto this frame. Once I get that done, I'm going to be doing the carry strap and I'm going to be doing different waist belt and shoulder straps so that it's more comfortable to carry. 
and I want to find another one of these beliefs for the bottom to expand my carrying options. The large house pack um, has your main pouches along the bottom and then these three ammo pouches. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the ammo pouches up there or if I'm going to take them off. Um, Mitch over at Native Survival did a 12 or 13 part on the upgrades and modifications that he did to an Owl's Pack and I've watched all of them and learned a bunch from him. I'll put his info down below too. I picked up a bunch of pouches from different sources and if I do go that route I'm going to be taking off the ammo pouches and putting on a couple bigger pouches or one bigger pouch instead and we'll go from there and we'll see it's going to take a while like it's not a overnight thing I'm going to start with the 82 the Canadian Forces 82 and I'm going to do the mods to it and then I'll load it up so that you can see everything I did to it and then we'll start on the large Alice pack. I've got a few more backpacks around that I've picked up mainly through trading because it's a favorite thing of mine. I got the large both these packs came from trading. The Canadian Forces one came from a Facebook trade group and the large Alice pack came from a trade blanket last summer at the Oshawa Bushcraft Rendezvous. Um, one of my other backpacks is, you can see right here, is the Maxpedition Condor 2 that I also got off the uh, Facebook trade group. Like, if you... The one I go on is there's a lot of guys from, it's a, it's a Canadian bushcraft trading group. If you look on Facebook, no matter where you are, you'll likely find a bushcraft trading group that you can join and try and expand your gear and find some stuff that you need and maybe get rid of some stuff that you don't. There's always somebody out there that's going to need stuff good thing sharp things are always good on trade like but for now uh, we're gonna leave it at that so just remember be safe be careful and enjoy your dirt time thanks a lot guys